bit of encouragement before we get into this. Like Miranda was saying, um, she was after me for a long time. And she's not kidding. Like, I was like, oh, I can't. I'm pregnant. Oh, I can't. I'm nursing. Oh, I had to see. I can't. I can't. I can't. And you, like anyone can. And so the fact that she stayed on me, I finally signed up. And I was one of those, like, you've got to be kidding me people who messaged her after the fact. I was like, well, I just signed up to be a coach, but I didn't get Shakeology and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I was like the worst. So don't be discouraged when stuff like that happens, when you're reaching out to people and trying to bring coaches on board and they're just like excuse after excuse and then they don't even get a challenge pack. They do it all wrong. It'll, it'll, it'll happen. It'll all straighten itself out. So talking about your niche market. Now this is something when I first started off as a coach, I, I saw the top coaches. I saw how they posted um, how important this was to know who you're actually talking to. And I was like, whatever, I don't need to know that. Wanted to um, promote to the masses. I did not care who, what, how, anyone who wanted to get involved with me. I was like, yep, you, 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 let's all do this. Let's do this, bring it on. And now while that may have helped in the very beginning, just to build credibility and a little bit of a client base, it's not something that you want to do. It's actually when you're growing your business and trying to figure out how to um, use your Facebook as a business tool or your blog or your Pinterest or Instagram, whatever it may be, to know who you're actually talking to. So you have to figure out who your ideal customer is, like who your perfect person would be to join your challenge group. And that's who you're going to talk to in all of your posts. Now, one thing I was reading this morning, um, some, some blog, I don't even remember, but if you look at Lululemon on Pinterest, now we all know Lululemon is athletic wear, but if you look at their Pinterest page, you know, they're hugely popular. Obviously, they're a well-known name. However, their target market is, you know, young females who are obviously into fitness, but they also have boards about yoga, boards about healthy eating, boards about um, easy hairstyles to do, you know, when you're out and about, because they know that their target market Young females who are on the go, who like to eat healthy, probably do yoga, you know, things like that. So they expand beyond um, offering just their fitness gear. They're trying to talk to this person um, and meet a bunch of their needs and offer them a bunch of different valuable materials aside from just Lululemon. This attracts them in and gets them looking at all of their um, different pins. And then eventually they're like, gosh, you know, I really like Lululemon. Don't even know why. I should probably hop into a store and see what they've got. So I go and look at Lululemon's Pinterest page when you get a chance and just so you can see what I'm talking about, how they really hone in on this specific female um, and actually target that person and talk to them. So to figure out who your ideal customer is, you could base this on a close friend. You could base this on a family member. You can imagine somebody that does not exist. For me, it took me um, a little bit to kind of figure it out, but the people that started to respond to my posts the most, the people within the challenge groups that I felt the most connected to, they were young mothers, and obviously right now, pregnant women. So figure out like the age range, mine would be 20s to 40s. Um, where's my piece of paper? 20s to 40s, you know, mothers, specifically if we're talking career teachers, since I used to be a teacher, I can relate to, you know, people who have taught before or in some kind of field of education. Um, people who are pregnant, people who are religious, 
people who enjoy coffee and wine, <laughs> you know, people who want and need things that will help them when they're on the go. So on your page, you're not just posting fitness, 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 beach body, you know, and then about your kids. Think about what else would help the person that you would be most connected to, your target market. So for me, um, on the go meals, like when you're running around in the car, getting the kids places, um, the workouts. One thing that I promote a lot is you don't need shoes. You can do it barefoot. You can do it with toys scattered, you know, carefully. <laughs> um, you can, the time limits, 25 to 30 minutes. You know, people like easy, simple, short. Um, easy recipes. So when I pin recipes or share recipes, I try and make sure that they have five ingredients, not like, you know, a long list of spices and all of this, because I know when I see a long list of ingredients, I'm like, no, not doing it. <laughs> um, children's activities, children's books, info, information about pregnancy, obviously. Um, body image. So many pregnant women, new moms, women in general, just have such a struggle with body image. So that's something, you know, where you just, you preach about loving yourself. People will relate to that. People need that. Um, coffee, wine, said that. Sharing funny children's stories, you know, people can relate to that sort of stuff. So that's my target market. That's what I post about. When I'm blogging, which I haven't been doing a lot lately, but when I do, let's see, I have, like recently, my blog posts were about stretch marks, um, my maternity fitness wear, and then I have one coming up about doing the 21 day fix and Shakeology while you're pregnant. Because I know that the people who are following me right now, that's a question that I get asked a lot, and they're gonna wanna know about that. And so it's not even necessarily like, join my challenge group, you know, click here. It's, here's how this has helped me while I'm pregnant. Do what you want with it. And then another thing, once you figure out this person, I know it sounds so weird. It's like you have an imaginary friend, but that's really how it is. Once you figure out this person, you should, go, you should be able to go to your Facebook profile page and it should read like you're sharing with a friend, not like you're talking you know, about Beachbody, or you're selling something, or you're um, promoting. It should read like, oh my gosh, this happened today, and you know, like you're catching up with somebody that you care about. And you know, when you are sharing with somebody you care about, yes, of course you're gonna mention Beachbody, it's important to you. But it should read like you're talking to a friend, not like you're selling. Does that make sense? Um, and you have to really think about this person's dreams. Like what would this person want to accomplish? What are their goals? What would their setbacks be? Um, how can you best help them, you know, when they run into obstacles? Because we all do. How can you inspire this person? You know, our job, mainly as coaches, is to inspire. You know, the more we inspire, the more we help, the more we do, the more successful our businesses will be. So you have to figure out how to inspire this specific person. So let's see if I've got anything else written down in here. Okay, and it, lastly, you know, another thing to think about once you get into the brain of this imaginary person that you're talking to, what would they find the most valuable as far as joining a Beachbody Challenge group or joining as a coach? You know, me personally, I didn't really care about, I was never like, oh, it's pyramid scheme, I can't, blah, blah, blah. I was just... The thing that attracted me the most was 
you know, you're doing it, you're already doing the behaviors, you know, why not try Shakeology, try something new, and seriously start to help people instead of just randomly posting on your, in, you know, on your um, Instagram. So think about what would inspire this person to get involved, you know, because it's easy to word vomit and get into way too much detail and they're just like, what are you even talking about? So you kind of want to hone in on the things that they are going to care about. And I, that's, that's about all I have written down. I'd love if you guys had any questions or anything to add, please feel free. I knew it'd be quiet. <laughs>